Hello, um, so today I am going to be testing out these sound bowls on a new microphone that I bought because I was having issues with um, the computer audio not picking up sound and so the sound healing and light language transmissions were not being delivered in a way to really um, receive them efficiently. Uh, today we're going to be working with the sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, heart chakra, and throat chakra. Um, these bowls were picked because with the lion's gate energy that is coming to an end, um, there's been a lot of collective purging and healing of root chakras. And the root chakra starts here, and then you have your sacral, your solar, your heart, your throat. Um, and all of these chakras are these bowls, all of the chakras that these bowls are, are based on top of the root chakra. So even though the root chakra has been getting a lot of work and like action these last few weeks, um, it's important to go ahead and stabilize the other chakras that are built on top of the root chakra. So as you receive these sounds, set the intentions that you have in mind. Um, these sounds are sent with the highest good in mind for the person receiving the energy. Um, these sounds will be mixed with sound bowls as well as light language, um, which for those new to light language, it is um, a language that doesn't make the most sense to like our logical mind, but on a soul level and higher self level, our cells will register the sounds and those sounds will permeate deeply and create comprehensive widespread healing, release, grounding and integration as your soul sees fit. So a blend of sound bowls and light language um, can be very powerful and healing when received with an open heart and an open mind and the right intentions. So I'll be sending these sounds to work for the highest good of you mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually in the past, the present, and the future, and in the non-physical and physical worlds in direct alignment with God with the highest love and highest light. Um, I suggest that you call upon your higher teams of the divine light to work with assisting you in integrating and receiving these sounds and my higher team will be assisting me in sending these sound transmissions with my highest good and the highest good of all receiving in mind um, with the completion of this video the transmission will end and all energy streams and energy cords between the viewer and the sender will automatically be cut um there might be reiki incorporated in this all of this is very impromptu so if you see me signing or anything like that signing can be light language um but signing can also be me drawing reiki symbols um and i pulled cards for this and the cards were surrender and humor and the surrender card is talking about surrendering um surrendering to the heart and um, not really letting the ego be the one you surrender to. Um, ego has us uh, stay in our comfort zones, which our comfort zones are not always the healthiest. Our comfort zones, ironically, can be um, very uncomfortable states of living and existence. And when we're living in alignment with the heart, it goes from uncomfortable as we go into the, the unknown into a more comfortable surrendering state because you know that you can trust all that your heart and your higher self and higher team are delivering you um, with working with lion's gate energies and having so many things in retrograde right now it's really important to be coming from a heart space with a stable root chakra and making sure to take care of all the other chakras in the process the other card that i pulled was humor which is talking about um viewing the lighter things in life and always viewing your glass as half full um there's always something to be grateful for and something to be grateful for that we might not always think of right away is ourselves. Um, the last couple of years have been very difficult for many people. Um, and it's really easy for us to bypass like all the good we've done for ourselves or all the good that has happened for us. Um, so as you listen to these bowls, um, take some time to appreciate all that you've done. See the lighter things in life that you've accomplished. Um, maybe you 
have like started working on old wounding and it hasn't felt the greatest but it's like you feel lighter now or maybe you don't feel lighter now but the lighter side of things is the more you work on it um the more uplifted you'll be in life in the long run and um you're doing things for you and that's something to be proud of um or maybe you went back to school or maybe you switched jobs or maybe you've started um doing hobbies and stuff that you actually have time for. Maybe you've discovered new parts of yourself or shed toxic relationships, whatever it is, just be proud of yourself because you did it. Nobody else did it, you did it. Um, which, yeah, that's the lighter thing of life. And the little accomplishments that you've made along the way, those are little milestones of your heart in action, um, guiding you into a state of surrender. Uh, and I'll go ahead and read the cards before I start. So we have, you can go ahead and meditate on these as you hear the sounds. So the surrender card says, I can release my need to control. You need to understand the distinction be between power and control. You have the power of internal control, but very little external control over people or situations. The majority of your external control is through the power of influence. You can lead by example. Every soul has its own unique path and it is not your job to dictate it. Giving advice or direction in a compassionate manner is the way to go, which in order to do things compassionately, we need a healthy heart chakra and a healthy sacral chakra because this is the emotional body and this is the sexual body and this is also creative expression and this is the strongest of all chakras, in my opinion, it's the finger of love and joy, and it connects the upper chakras with the lower chakras, so it can help you connect with Mother Earth and Father Sky, and just really be centered in a place of love. Um, your soul too has a path, and you possess the power to control it, but you must surrender the illusion that you have control over another. When you're living in a heart space, you realize that you don't have control over others, you only have control over yourself. When you begin living this way, life becomes a lot more easy flowing and joyful and enjoyable. Um, life is stressful when you're not living in a heart space and when you're living from a very ungrounded, ungrounded scattered um, root chakra that uh, is made shaky by our egos, which are like self-protection, but sometimes self-protection can be self-sabotage, very fine line between the two. The other card that I pulled was humor. It says, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. There are definitely parts of life that require your serious attention, but you have to learn to have fun. Don't neglect things that bring you joy or make you laugh. Besides, the health benefits to your physical body, your emotional and mental bodies reap huge rewards from the art of joy. Seek out the people who make you feel good about being alive. Avoid cynicism and pessimism. Um, always look at your cup as being half full instead of half empty. Um, when you're in a state of cynicism or pessimism, this can cause blocks in all of these chakras because that's not authentic to who we are. We are beings created as expressions of love of the creator. Cynicism is not loving and neither is pessimism. Um, so if you're working with manifestations and Lionsgate energy, it's really important to um, have healthy flowing energy because you can't speak throat chakra your manifestations into existence if you're coming from a negative um, place of thinking um, or if you have negative thought forms following you around and you can't really manifest to the best of your abilities if your solar plexus chakra is not in your power if you're giving power away to the energies of cynicism and pessimism or like news media which is very pessimistic or um, people outside of you, you're not going to be in the best manifesting state either. Um, so yeah, that's what I got for you. And I hope this helps you in some shape, way, or fashion. Let us begin.
This is a combination of Reiki and light language. Wakisa a ufafata isa lo ika iya tasata a uf ika ila sita oya sita kuf ila sika sita mo iya teka ka ayo sutu alaya sata ito suku ya tasata ya ola si ayo toka a i i i i muka isa o i aya saka a al usi ay ya ya o ay ya uf tata sata tayala isai. Ilo sika a u pita ila sika u sota ola sita u u u a i sika a u tichu taya la sota kai. space for us to go ahead and ground and integrate these energies. Alright, so I'm going to invite you to either sit or lay down, whatever is most comfortable, and close your eyes and take several deep grounding breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you breathe, count to four. I invite you to go ahead and call upon the energies of Father Sky to cleanse, clear, and uplift your energy system in mind, body, and spirit now. Father Sky's divine healing white light comes in through the crown chakra, which is here, and pours down through your body, illuminating and lighting up your eyes, your mouth, your nose, your ears, your throat, pushing out any and all energy that you no longer resonate with or wish to carry. Continue taking deep centered breaths as the light goes through your body. Other sky's energy now goes through your shoulders, your biceps, your triceps, your elbows, your forearms, your wrists, your hands, your fingers. Father Sky's energy pushes through your chest, your clavicles, your upper back. It's important to be able to meditate in silence or without silence. Meditation is beneficial in all environments. Continue to feel Father Sky's divine white light push through every vertebrae in your spine, beginning at the base of your neck and running down to your tailbone, irrigating and cleansing the vertebrae, 
releasing all dense stagnant energy stored in the spinal column. The spinal column is where we hold our prana energy. And this energy, when healthy, moves freely without any restriction. It's important to cleanse and strengthen the prana through meditation and breath work, as we're doing now. Father Sky's energy runs through your upper stomach, your lower stomach, your middle back, your lower back, divine white light pulsating through. Father Sky's energy goes through the front of your pelvis, the back of your pelvis, your hip joints, scrubbing away and strengthening all energy centers and cells in the body as it goes forth. Father Sky's divine white light floods through the quads, the hamstrings, the knees, your shins, your calves, scrubbing, 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 releasing away any and all energy that no longer resonates and assisting you in integrating the light language and sound healing you received today. The divine white light goes through your ankles, the heels of your feet, the arches of your feet, the balls of your feet, each toe, scrubbing, 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 illuminating. Now your whole body is filled with divine white light of the highest light and highest love from Father Sky. Take several more deep breaths as you feel Father Sky's energy going through you, cleansing you and strengthening you and freeing you from all that no longer serves you. Now, Father Sky's energy drops through your feet down to Mother Earth, where this ball of light is transmuted into the highest healing and highest love to serve Mother Earth's greatest good. In exchange, Mother Earth passes up a ball of divine grounding energy of the highest love and highest light to serve your highest good. This ball of light enters through your toes, your feet, your heels, your ankles. This divine ball of light from Mother Earth is mixed with tree roots, flower petals, crystal geodes, salt water, sand, rain, soil, fir leaves, pine needles, oak leaves, creosote leaves, cacti needles. All of this shoots up through your feet, helping you integrate all that you have received today through the sound healing and helping you integrate the changes that Lionsgate is bringing you on unconscious and conscious levels. Take several deep breaths as Mother Earth's energy moves up your shins, your calves, your knees, your hamstrings, and your quads. As Mother Earth's energy moves up your body, deep healing roots shoot out of your feet. These roots are tinged with violet flame energy, ensuring that any and all energy you release is transmuted and any and all energy that is received is transmuted. Mother Earth's energy moves up your lower stomach, your upper stomach, your chest, your clavicles, your biceps, your triceps, your elbows, your lower back, your middle back, every vertebrae in your spine is being grounded into newer, healthier energy. And you know, ungrounding, scattered energy is moved out of your system by Mother Earth and her nourishing motherly energy. Mother Earth's energy moves into your shoulder blades and your upper spine to the base of your neck. Her energy moves through your biceps, your triceps, your elbows, forearms, your wrists, your fingers. As it moves through your fingers, it helps you in letting go of that which is preventing you from surrendering to God's will, 
and your soul's higher plan. Whether this energy goes through your neck, your throat, your jaw, your ears, your nose, your mouth, your eyes, the top of your head, your skull. Take several deep breaths as Mother Earth's energy fully grounds you and helps you assist in being present in your body and integrating. Mother Earth's energy then shoots out of your crown chakra and is carried by your higher team of the divine light as a ball of energy transmuted into the highest light to serve Father Sky's highest good. You are now swaddled in Mother Earth and Father Sky's loving, grounding, cleansing, limitless energy. I invite you to go ahead and cut, clear, and remove any and all cords to people, places, and things that are not serving your highest good anymore. As you do this, you can picture scissors, a sword, um, a flamethrower going through, and dissolving or burning away, cutting, removing all of these energy strings of attachment that are no longer serving you at this point in time. Imagine it going in front of you, each side of you, behind you. Mighty scissors, flamethrowers, swords, cutting away all these threads people, places, and things that you have outgrown that are no longer part of the timeline that you are now in. Visualize these cords being removed from above you, below you, within you. As they're removed, ask your higher team to create shields, white light, and violet flame energy, preventing re-entry of any and all people, places, or things that sap you of energy or that keep you weighed down. Their, their purpose and time has been served and they are no longer needed, so it's okay to allow yourself to cut off these people and block them out. Once you feel that everything has been cut and cleared and removed, say out loud, I am free of all strings of attachment to people, places, and things from the past that no longer serve my highest good. I am clear, I am grounded, and I am protected. And so it is. You may also use the affirmation and mantra. All powers of God, what is not of God has no power to do anything to me. Love is the governing power in my life. Anything that is not love is not allowed anywhere near, in, on, or around me anymore. And so it is. Go ahead and give thanks to your higher team and your higher self for holding space for you. Give thanks to yourself for holding space for you. I hope that this transmission and meditation have brought you a sense of grounding and peace and freedom. Aho.